we are playing Dark Souls Goth Edition. <laughs> Call it an entire game of Blight Town. Ah yes, Bloodborne released in 2015. Fans have been eagerly awaiting a HD remaster for that sweet, sweet 60 FPS. And finally, after nine years, they've announced absolutely hee haw. No teasers, no announcements, absolutely fuck all. That's right. The only new content we've had for the franchise in nearly a decade is an Easter egg in Astrobot, which is an absolute fumble, to be fair. Yeah. With all that in mind, be ready for a bit of Bloodborne. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. Oh, we gotta do ha this. Have you considered blood? Have you considered being bl born from blood? <laughs> have I ever considered it? <laughs> have you considered fighting people with blood? Uh, it, well, I mean, yeah. What other people are there? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried blood? <laughs> have you tried blood born? Is that what this guy said? Fuck no, man. Just I've, met, just I've played every single one of the FromSoft games and I couldn't tell you the story in any one of them. Is that how you spell Horatio? No. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Horatio. Like, what about Horace? Horace. I like Horace. I like Horace. Yeah, Horace is good. Horace for short. Sure. Horace is what I call every spider I encounter. Just Horace, nothing. Yeah. Not even like Horace the troll. Horace the troll? Yeah. Okay. We now have our character. We made a guy. He's beautiful. He's actually disgusting. Our, our guy would be like, Horace. Hello. I'm Horace. My name's Oris the Troll. Oris. Bleeding, what are you doing? Right, don't fucking squirm. This is gonna hurt like fuck. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Me and the dentist earlier today. <laughs> Try and stay still, this is gonna be a fucker. Did you wake up in Bloodborne? <laughs> oh god. What happened? Oh no. It's just here for a scale and polish. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really like to go to the dentist and wake up and see that. Let's do it. Muzz is up. He's going to run us through the start of this game. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. Are you about to punch that thing to death, Muzz? No. Dude, you're about to punch this thing to death. I'm going to try. Dude. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> no, that's not how this game goes. Oh, yeah. I don't have a weapon. This is about. Yeah, what do what you do now? I don't really know. <laughs> Let's go up here. See what happens. And if, if I can't go anywhere, I'll just jump off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take me in the hunter's dream. I didn't even need to die. Yes. See, this is where you get all your lore. Yeah, this is where everybody pieces together the story themselves. Yeah. When FromSoft are like, should we make a story? Nah. Well, we can make a bit of a story and then we'll just make everyone else be fill in the, in the blanks. Yeah. She's like, should we do that again for the tenth time? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude, it works. They make some fucking great games. I'd prefer my story to be uh, dished out in this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the open to interpretation kind of story. Nice. That's what you want. Once you get the hang of that, everything's a lot better. Yeah, I do. I remember that. But then I also remember getting lost as fuck. And I mean, like, seriously lost. Like, I was like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Well. Wow. He's got my souls, so time to sack up. And he's got your blood echoes, mate. Jesus uh, fucking Christ. Oh my god. How could you disrespect the game like that? I am not. Oh no. <laughs> Blood boy! <Yeah. laughs> Gotta love it. I want nothing to do with you. You, you fuck. fuck off. Get away from my door. Me spurs you though. He's my friend. His name is Horace the Troll. He killed people in Bloodborne. He drink blood. <laughs> he just about repulsed on men with wooden shield. He killed men with top hat. Look like Slish. Ah, yes, Wunderslush. Yes, yeah, Slish. Slish, my favorite guitarist. Slish. <laughs> Slish, he play with gun and rose. Gun and rose. <laughs> Me, I just play with gun. Me, I just shoot melon and pretend to be Russian. <laughs> it's a very good way to make a living. Hell yeah. Roman, let's go bowling. <laughs> Roman! <laughs> Roman, we're in Bloodborne, there's something wrong. What, is this some kind of like, you know, there's a purge going on or something like that? Um, like, you know, that, that kind of thing, like a, like a purge style type deal. One night of the year, all the demons and ghouls and yeah, beasts man. and that come out. If you could go back and live 
the rest live your childhood over, but with the knowledge and brain that you have now. But the o the only draw like the payoff or like the the curse part of that is that you die in this universe and everyone like has to mourn you. Wait, I die in the Bloodborne universe. No, in your own universe. Wait, 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 wait. So I go back to when I was a kid. Yeah. Right. But with like as with the same consciousness I have and knowledge I have now. Yeah. Right. But the, so then what? Do I then live out all of my days again as a from from that from six yeah, or you, whatever? You get to do that, and you get to like do whatever you want with your life. So I get to be like mentally like you know a hundred and prepared for everything. Hundred and twenty or whatever, and prepared for every decision coming my way. Yeah, including gambling on sports events. Oh yeah. Which I would be very good at. Yeah. Okay, so but right, right. The, the trade-off is that you replace the you in that universe, so you're not the original you in the new universe, and your old self is like considered dead. The, like you leave your own your real family in that all behind. All right, so you just die in the universe you leave behind. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And everyone loses you. Like oh yeah. shit. Okay, right. So I'd have to leave my kids. Yeah, but you get you get them back. You could yeah. You well, yeah, could I would get, get them back. I would get them back in the future, but but they'd be different. They would be you'd different. Have to make them again. I'd have to. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to make them again, knowing and, that they were coming. And they'd be different, probably. They would be different based on that. They'd have to be. They'd have to be. It's a different universe. Well, I suppose. I mean, like string theory or whatever the fuck it is. You know, multiverse theory suggests that. Oh my god. Um, I could well exist. There could be a universe that is a carbon copy of the one we live in now, but the only thing that's different is me. Or you. Yeah. Or any other person, or like a blade of grass, or whatever the fuck, you know? It's nuts, like the kind of depth it goes to. Um, but I suppose, yeah. I don't know, that is a tricky one. That is oh a, fuck. That's a pretty tricky conundrum. Oh boy. My dude. My dude! You're getting eaten by the werewolves, my dude! I'm so afraid. <laughs> I think I've made it. Wow. Oh god, they're down there. Is that your only way back? Did I bring the werewolves with me? You That's brought them... the worst possible thing I could have done. Oh boy, there's a platform down there. It's not friendly. Oh no. Oh, they're nasty werewolves too. they got lots of power. I'd be hu Yeah, hug that wall, my guy. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh man, savage! It's okay, I can get back. And the werewolf has the souls now. I can get back. Yeah, I would say that's a, that's a pretty, pretty tough one. I, I'd say there's too much for me to lose. I'd have to decline. It's too like fuck the question. I think before my so, kids, before my kids, I would have totally gone for that. Yeah, I'd, yeah, have been, yeah. I'd have been like, fuck yeah, hell yeah, I'll go for that. Yeah, I can see that. Let's go for it. I'll make myself a millionaire. Yeah, but then now you know you'd have to like. Well, no, Leave right. grieving children in this universe. So, how does it work, though? And right? me, actually. Now, come to think of it, <laughs> yeah, I'd but... also have to fucking grieve you, so yeah. that's true. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. everybody would. My mum, my dad, everyone. So, like, but we've got... Uh, where am I going with this? Where is my problem? Um, do you, like, so, do you have to live the same life? Or no. can I get to 12 years old and go, like, nah, I'm going to be the cool guy in high school. Fuck the lot of years. Yeah, I don't know can, how to do it. You can do whatever you want. So I can just take it down a completely new route. Mate, think of how many women you'd get back, like oh wow, back when like early twenties. Oh wow, what would this if you could go back to your early twenties with your brain? With my brain now that you have now. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a tough one. Nah, yeah, for sure. Pre kids, totally. Bite your hand off. Post kids, consider it for a long time, and ultimately probably say no. What about you? Yeah, I also wouldn't do it because it's too weird. And then also you'd have to be a kid with an adult brain and that'd be really annoying. That would be really annoying. That'd be really annoying. For, well, how young do you have to go? Like back to fucking... I don't know, let's say fucking five. Five. That's, you have to go back to five. Reset to great. five. That's not great. I'd have to break my arm again. That's like well, ten... Maybe not. <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't. That's like ten years of like... People belittling the shit out of you. Longer. That's like tw twenty years of people belittling the shit out of you. Yeah, and it'd be even more annoying because you'd know stuff about the future and people would be patronising about it. Yeah. I and suppose unless you could become some wonder kid. But then you would just like get like, you'd just get trafficked by the fucking CIA or whatever. Yeah, they'd be like, well, how do you know how, the future? Uh, yeah, how do you know this is going to happen? How did you know 9-11 was going to happen? 
<laughs> How did you know to, to fuck up our satellite dish for the planes that day? How did you know? I think, do you know what I would do? I would stick in, I would stick the fuck in at school. I'd have, do you know what, I'd be like top A student, I'd be like so good. I'd be so there for it. See if like you could go to school that wasn't like, I don't know, it's odd. It's odd to act, like, because you can obviously just go to college. You go to self-employed school when you're a kid. No, like, <laughs> if you could do school again, but with like an adult brain, that'd be good. Yeah. If I was like 23 or 24 and I could go to like S3. Back to, like, S3, or Year 4 for all you fucking English folk, um, then that would be great. I'd be well game for that. So that's the thing. It's such a fucking crazy question that I'm like, wow, I don't even know what I'd do with that power. Yeah. That's so much power. That's so much power. It's too much power. It's almost too much power. You're right. I'm not really sure where I am, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, doing well. Yeah, man. It's a good um, run. Ah, is it the shortcut? A shortcut. Is this a bloody closed by a fucking bloody shortcut? Lever. Nice, we got a shortcut. Pull the lever, Kronk. And we found a little girl <gasps> who's like, look for my mum. And we can be like, sure, I'll look for her. I'll get the brooch. And then she gives me the tiny music box. Oh, nice. So that is smashing. Excellent. And now we can get back to the lamp, which is what we want to do at the moment. I mean, I don't even fucking care. And soft spoilers for anyone who's actually going to any of the Halloween parties, or particularly one of the Halloween parties I'm going to this year. I am going dressed as Captain Hook. Nice. For the Good Time Gals party that we're having. I'm going dressed as Fat Thor from Endgame. Nice. I got my wig, I got my hammer. Nice. I don't need anything else. That's all you need. Is beer and a games controller. Yeah, man. Hell yeah.